Hi, I'm Andrew Thompson, the editor of Tech Faster, joined by our CEO, Ryan Jones. Hello. Today we're sitting down with PJ Gunsigar, the CEO of Kidaptive. Hi, PJ. Hi, guys. How are you? Hey, doing well. Thank you for joining us, PJ. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Kidaptive, Kidaptive excuse me, and um, what it is that you guys do? Yeah, our goal is to help children learn and have fun, and I think most importantly, make them better learners. Um, the problem we're solving is, is, is critical. One of the key issues with today's education system today is engagement. And our thesis was around creating very engaging content um, through the tablet and have interactive games and puzzles push the story along. Um, and, and because of all the affordances of the tablet, we can capture every interaction and actually report back to parents in an assessment framework developed in conjunction with Stanford University um, and have parents through a parent command center really be empowered to participate um, in their child's learning trajectory. That's great. Well, um, in, in doing my, my homework and learning a little bit about Kadaptive, um, the Leo kept coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about, about Leo? Yeah, so the idea, and again, my background um, is in producing animated feature films. Um, so I have a lot of experience working with some of the top-end directors um, across the planet. And that's where the idea of creating engaging content really started. Um, Leo is uh, a reimagined Leonardo da Vinci as an eight-year-old. And our idea was um, to take the, the best polymaths of our time, uh, Shakes, Galli, Galileo, Marie Curie, um, and have them be characters in this uh, very creative and imaginary world. Uh, Leo is the main character. Uh, our view is he's the greatest of all time um, in terms of capabilities. And uh, not that children would would really understand who these characters were, but. It, at least the seed might be planted in terms of who these great people were. And I think that the idea would resonate with parents, and it clearly has. Mm -hmm. Great, great. What, uh, what age is, is this ideal for? What age group? Right. Good, good question. So our focus is on the pre-K market um, initially. Uh, we're creating what we're calling episodic content. So it's like a television show for the tablet. And the reason why we're focusing on early learning and pre-K is because that's where we can make the biggest impact on a, a learner's life. Um, you know, slight changes in the cognitive development of an early learner can have huge impacts on their trajectory and long-term success. So it made a lot of sense to, to, to focus on that group. Secondly, parents are obviously very engaged um, with their children, and, and for us to create a comprehensive experience, it was important to bring parents into the equation, so early learning made a lot of sense. Lastly, my kids are both early learners, so it was it was a great fit there too. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, um, what it seemed like that the the apps, and I might be wrong here. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but it seemed like they were focused kind of around reading and reading comprehension. Is is that the case? Or are there other skills that the apps are are, are well suited to be teaching? Like math actually, and no. I mean, our our um. Our curriculum is, is, and one of its unique attributes is how comprehensive it is. Uh, in fact, reading and reading comprehension are, are only a small piece of what we're trying to do. Um, we'll be tackling um, most of the, the core pre-K standards out there um, uh, and, and going way beyond that. Um, you know, we have se over 70 dimensions of early learning that we're going to be targeting. And, and what's most important to us is, is the more social emotional and cognitive areas. Um, there's particular focus on executive function related dimensions uh, including uh, delay, of gra delay of gratification, impulse control, etc. where we think um, developing those skills uh, and areas within kids make the biggest impact on their life long term. Um, so we have a lot of, a lot of the, 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 the gameplay is around patience and waiting your turn and, and trying to resist. Um, but we also do the shapes, numbers, letters, colors, all of the basics. Okay. Great, great. Uh, have teachers been actively incorporating this into lesson plans, like actual kindergarten teachers and things? Well, no, so we're pre-K, so it's not really working, it, it, you know, although, you know, it's, it's easily extendable into kindergarten. 
the plan is to, to focus on the pre-K market. And we have been working with preschool teachers and developing the content and, 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 and having their kids um, interact and engage with it. Um, uh, you can imagine you know, a studio that's creating multiple series. So a Leo's Pad is the first series, which will incorporate 25 episodes and, and address the pre-K market. We'll be launching another series that's dealing with kindergarten and first grade issues. And that series, we hope, will penetrate the market, along with our command center slash dashboard, which we think can ultimately um, become the platform, um, assessment framework platform within schools long term. Mm -hmm. Is the is the platform is it currently exclusive to iOS or are you working on with Android as well? Currently, it's 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 iOS, iPad only. Um, but by this summer, we should be launching uh, Android related um, uh, episodes as well. Okay, well that that kind of leads me into my next question. What's what's in the, the near and, and long term future for Kid Kid Active? Well, I think near term, it's really about. Um, you know, launching the episodes and then also engaging parents uh, with the with the command center. We've had phenomenal results so far from our Christmas launch of episode one, and then recently episode two. Episode three will come out next month, and then four the following month, um, and so on. Uh, the dashboard, or sorry, the command center will be launched in early March, and we plan to have a lot of press around that. And that's really kind of one of its kind breakthrough stuff that's been worked on again in conjunction with Stanford University, where we hope we can really change the landscape of, of, of early learning and long-term education um, through that product. Great. Well, um, that I think about wraps it up, PJ. We really appreciate you joining us. That was informative. I know our, our users will like to learn more about Cadaptive. Um, we appreciate you taking the time. That's PJ Gunsgar from Cadaptive. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. You too.